Alright, yo, what's good everyone? Nick Smith is back. Now, I know that I'm a tad late on this one, but my apologies for that. I was really, really busy yesterday, but here are my playoff predictions. Now, I did do this, you know, before the playoffs started, um, and you can tell I did, so I'm, you know, I'm not, you know, cheating or anything. I've got Toronto winning in four, and obviously, you know, Indiana took the first series, or the first game of this series, so, you know... Um, yeah, I actually did do this, uh, do this bracket before the playoffs started, I just had no time to make a, uh, a video yesterday, um, so, yeah, that's, that, that's that, but let's get into my playoff bracket, and, uh, and what I think will happen, uh, in this year's 2016 NBA playoffs, and, you know, where I think teams will end up, so, obviously in the first round, we've got the Cleveland Cavaliers, Cleveland Cavaliers beating the Detroit Pistons. I think that the Cavs will probably win this one pretty easy. Um, now, I was going to say a sweep, but, you know, the Pistons, they got they got Drummond, all right? And Drummond is a key center and a key piece to what the Pistons need to win because the Cleveland Cavaliers, they got no one down low, really. Like, they got, Tr they got Tristan Thompson, Timothy Moskov, but, like, Andre Drummond should be able to bring the Pistons a little closer to victory. Um... You know, I, I, I don't know. Andre Drummond, he can win a, uh, a a game in this series. But, yeah, I've got the Cleveland Cavaliers winning the uh, the uh, the first round over the Detroit Pistons. I've got Atlanta. Atlanta in six. Now, Atlanta, you know, they started out um, in yesterday's game doing pretty well. Like, I mean, they, they, they were killing. They were killing the Boston Celtics. But the Celtics came back and actually only lost the game by a point, which is pretty crazy. Like, they were... They were down by at least 25, I think. At I don't know. It must have been something oh, uh, around 25 points. Um, and, you know, the, the Atlanta Hawks came back in that series. Uh, sorry, the Celtics came back in the uh, in the game. Uh, but I've got I've got the Atlanta Hawks winning uh, winning the uh, the series against the uh, the Boston Celtics. I just think they're too. They're, I don't know. They're not like last year's Atlanta Hawks, but they're they're still a pretty good side. Um, so yeah, I've got Atlanta beating the Celtics, but. Celtics, they, they will definitely have some pretty close games um, in this series. And then obviously the next the next series is Toronto versus at Indiana. Now, Indiana, they took the first game, man. They took the first game. Paul George, beasting and feasting, lining it up. And, I mean, he was uh, yeah, he was doing some, some crazy, crazy work up against the Raptors. And honestly, though, I think the Raptors are too good. Like, I don't think the... Uh, the after watching yesterday... Maybe Indiana can take two games or three, but but I don't know. I think I think the Raptors they, they they'll win this series. So I had them in four. I reckon uh, I reckon maybe now they'll uh, drop two two games. Uh, but yeah, Miami versus Charlotte. I've got the Heat. I've got the Heat winning in six games. I think the Heat. Um, as a Heat fan, you know I want them to go far. I'm not gonna lie. I I may have overestimated this team because uh, obviously I've got them in the second round and. And I even made them to the conference finals. But, you know, as a Heat fan, everybody that's that team is in the playoffs, let's be honest, you think you're gonna you, you think that your team's gonna do a little bit better. Um, so I've got the Miami Heat uh, make it to the conference finals. Um, but obviously they can lose in the second round, and obviously they can even lose in the first round because the, the Charlotte Hornets, they're still a good team, but I, I do have the Miami Heat winning this series. Obviously, now in the West, it, it, it gets a little crazy. Golden State versus Houston. I've got Golden State in four. I, I think the, the Warriors will uh, will be too much. Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, Iggy, Barnes. I mean, Bogut. This team is stacked. Greatest team in NBA history, obviously. Um, you know, I'm not going to say they they beat Jordan's Bulls, the, the 95-96 Bulls, but currently, if you got the best record ever in the NBA, you were classified the greatest team in NBA history, but if the Warriors had to face up against the 95-96 Bulls, I'd probably take MJ and the Bulls. Um, yeah, that's that. I've got the Warriors winning in four games. Uh, the Clippers versus the Portland Trailblazers. Chris Paul, Blake Griffin's back, so that should be exciting to watch, but uh, I don't know about Griffin. I don't know, because the Clippers, they, they've been really good this year. Really good without Blake Griffin, um, which is awesome. Like As a Clipper fan, you should be happy about that. Um, unfortunately, as a Heat fan, you know we don't we don't get Chris Bosh back, so that that also plays a key factor into uh, into watching the playoffs this year as well for the Miami Heat fans. But uh, yeah, 
Uh, I've got the Clippers winning winning this series against Portland. I think Portland's young guys of Lillard and CJ McCollum, they're going to step it up. But other than that, they're not looking that great. I mean, great work. Literally, like, awesome work making it to the NBA playoffs this year. I mean, mo- you got to think about it at the start of the year. They lost their, they lost their shooting guard, their small forward, their power forward, and their center. Four of their five starting players, that's that's crazy. Like, you've got to think about that for a second. They lost, um, obviously, Wesley Matthews, Nicholas Batum, LaMarcus Aldridge, and Robin Lopez. Shout out to the to the uh, Trailblazers. They've got a bright future. But I've got the Clippers winning that series. In the first round, obviously, the San Antonio Spurs versus the Memphis Grizzlies. I've got the Spurs winning it in a sweep. Uh, sorry, yeah, 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 that's that. Uh, the Spurs should win this series. Um, in a sweep, I think uh, Memphis they they they're just dealing with injuries. Honestly, like Mike Conley's out, um, obviously Marcus Sol's out, so injuries are pretty much killing the uh, the Memphis Grizzlies right now, um, and that's why I've got San Antonio in. And obviously San Antonio they're the best defensive team in the NBA, so they they should be able to beat the uh, the Memphis Grizzlies. And I've got them in a sweep. The Oklahoma City Thunder versus the Dallas Mavericks. We saw how game one went. Um, the, the, the Thunder just killed it. Um, now, I've got the Thunder losing in the second round, though. That's the thing. But I, I don't know. Like, the Thunder, it's going to be a tough second round. Uh, but I definitely have them winning in the first round. I, I, I think they're too too good for Dallas. Dallas is getting old. Dallas is not as good as they used to be. And, yeah, I've got uh, Dallas getting swept in the first round. In the second round. The Cleveland Cavaliers versus the Atlanta Hawks. I've got the Cavs winning it. LeBron, too, too good. That, that's what I've got to say. It's playoff time. LeBron's going to step it up in playoff time. And, yeah, got the Cavs winning it up against the Atlanta Hawks in five games. I think Atlanta could probably take a game on their home court. Uh, obviously, also in the East, Toronto versus Miami. Easily could, could go either way. Honestly, as a Heat fan, uh, last time we faced the Raptors, Maybe it wasn't last time. One of the game, one of the uh, games that we faced up against the Raptors, Whiteside killed it. And you know the thing about the Raptors is they love to penetrate and go inside. Uh, you know Demar Rosen's ability to go inside the paint and get layups and dunks and just inside shots is is amazing. But with Whiteside down low, Whiteside. He's not a great defensive player. Like he, he's actually not. If you watch the Miami Heat, you're gonna know. I watch the Miami Heat all the time. He's not that great of a defensive player, but he's a great shot blocker. So there you go. If he can block ten shots like he did, I think one time against the Raptors earlier this year, then that'll be awesome. But you know we can't count on Whiteside. We've got to have other players step it up. We we picked up Joe Johnson, and that's the reason why I think we can win this series in seven games. Um, I think we have a lot of playoff experience with Dwayne Wade, Amari Stoudemire, Joe Johnson. Uh, we've got you know. Uh, just a whole bunch of veteran guys, as well as, you know, we picked up Goran Dragic. He's he's a decent player. You know, you're not what he used to be, but he has stepped it up a little bit this year as well. So, yeah, I've got the Miami Heat winning in seven games. Easily could go either way, though. Um, Golden State versus the Clippers. The Warriors, man, this team is 73-9, and nine, so got to take the Warriors. Um, yeah, I've got them winning in, uh, yeah, in a series against the Clippers. San Antonio versus the Oklahoma City Thunder. Let me just say this. If OKC can take a game on the San Antonio Spurs... No, not Spurs. (laughs) If the uh, Thunder can take a game on the Spurs home court, then I've got the Thunder winning the series. If not, then I think San Antonio should be able to beat the uh, other Thunder. Um, Like I said, they're the greatest defensive team in the league, and... Yeah, they might just be too much for the, uh, for the Westbrook and Durant show. Uh, Kawhi's going to lock down uh, Durant, possibly. Um, I mean, that's what he's there for. As well as play a little bit of offense. Um, but, yeah, I guess we'll have to see how, how this series plays. I think this will this could be the best, the best uh, series in the playoffs. I know that the Thunder... I'm sorry, I know that the Warriors vs. Spurs series is projected to be the best, but... Just, just watch out on that Spurs Thunder series. I, I don't know. I, I have a feeling that that might be a lot closer than people think. Anyway, in the conference finals, Miami versus Cleveland. Uh, I've got the Cavs winning. It's, you know, let me just say this. Miami is not a bad team. People sleep on Miami, but I've got the Cavs winning it just because the Cavs are the Cavs. They've got LeBron. 
Kyrie Love. I think Kyrie and Love are going to step it up. They weren't there last year in the playoffs, um, you know, in the finals. So they're going to want to make it to the finals. And uh, yeah, for uh, for a second straight year, make it to the NBA finals and have a chance to win a championship. But yeah, Cavs will be probably too strong for the Miami Heat. Um, in the conference finals, obviously, in the West, Golden State versus Spurs. I've got the Warriors in seven. Should be a crazy series. That will be the NBA Finals, in my opinion. I don't think the... Like, whoever makes the NBA Finals in the East, it's not going to be the same series as the West, honestly. Like, the Conference Finals could be better than the NBA Finals. Um, but, yeah. Obviously, that means in the NBA Finals, it's going to be the Warriors versus the Cavs. And I've got the Golden State Warriors winning it all for 2016. But let me know down below, what do you think? How do you think this is going to work out? Who do you think is going to make the NBA Finals? And what other NBA predictions should I make? Uh, should I make Defense Player of the Year, the MVP, the Rookie of the Year, all that good stuff? Leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video. Comment down below. Yeah, actually, leave a like if you guys want me to do more of these type of videos, because I can easily do that, and I'd be really happy to do that as well, because I think it's awesome just talking NBA, because I, I don't really talk NBA with you guys that much. Um, but yeah, today, I can't wait, because uh, it's the Miami Heat versus the Charlotte Hornets. Uh, game one should be good. And then obviously the Cavs versus the Pistons, the Grizzlies versus the Spurs, and the Trailblazers versus the Clippers. So, yeah, that's that, and I'm out. Hope you guys enjoy. Smash the like button, comment down below what you think, and who's going to win the NBA Finals. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Yeah, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.